on today's episode of Bad Tree Productions, we're going to do some more little stuff. I found the correct brake pedal for a Barracuda. I took the three-speed pedals out a couple weeks ago just because we don't need three-speed pedals anymore because we're running that 727 and somebody else can use them for their build. But while we we're at a swap meet, that was videos ago uh, that really cold one where it was the first snow bought a brake pedal from a guy who said it was out of a duster and I don't think that was accurate because there's about this much difference from the gas pedal to the brake pedal so if you ever go to switch your foot over to the brake you just it's just going right underneath the pedal you almost have to pick your leg up like you're driving an old Eaton split shift semi tranny where you gotta jack your knee out really push in the clutch so we don't want that we want to be a nice fluid motion from gas to brake you don't want to be your knee in your chest when you're at the strip so i'm going to work on that and i found out some issues with the electrical and the dash got those fixed and then uh, we'll probably continue to work on some dash stuff, uh, interior stuff. So bear with me. It's all going to be underneath the dash. Um, Jeremy is probably going to start decluttering around and uh, making us some more room because this thing can be set back down on the ground and moved around right now. Uh, uh, not under its own power, but... But I want to get the brake pedal done, dash, get the column back in it. I got the seat shoved all the way in the back right now so I can lay down in there easier. And then uh, we're just going to start going ham at it. You know, plug wires, get the distributor, ignition, anything that we see fit that needs to be done electrical, we want to get on that. There's some hodgepodge stuff back in the trunk for the brake lights. Uh, we got a redo some of that stuff too so we want the car to have parking lamps headlights brake lights reverse lights which we might not have reverse lights with that shifter that we got but whatever maybe we will i don't know so let's go into the car <clears throat> so i'm just gonna kind of show you the difference here so the gas pedal is going to be here once it's connected, once that throttle cable's got a spring on the carburetor. So it's going to be up like this. That's how much of a difference it is. Now I'm just going to line this up and kind of show you how big of a difference the pedal is going to have. That's how much lower this Barracuda. This is what came out of one of those cars up at um, Phil's on the hill. So that's going to be, well, it's going to be up here actually. But that's going to gain us quite a bit by using the correct pedal. I don't know what this pedal came out of, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's the car. So what I gotta do is I gotta I gotta take the master cylinder back off and I gotta undo the rever the the brake light indicator here. That's easy enough. But there's four bolts that go into the master cylinder on the firewall. Those gotta be taken off, and then I got one, two. Just two um, half inch bolts in here. And then this can come down and pull out. And then I can take this to the bench and swap pedals on it. That's just way too damn high. It'll be super annoying. The interior's out of the car. Might as well do it now. And once I get that pedal out of the way and work on it on the bench, I can. Uh, 
get a better look at some wiring down here. And then I'm thinking um, I got air fuel mixture gauge, oil pressure, and uh, voltmeter. No, not volt. Hmm. Air fuel, because we get we welded a bung into the header collector to help us with our tuning. So that'll be under here. I'm going to take this radio out. I'm going to see where else I can mount it because I want to put that gauge cluster right here. So I don't know. But it'll be nice to have these pedals out of the way so I can get a lot of this wiring down here. Uh, get some speaker wire ran to the back and get the two speakers hooked up in the top of the dash. I got two four inch speakers that I mentioned in the previous videos. Get all that stuff. I want to never be underneath this dash again. Then I'm going to go into the actual dash and make sure all the lights are good. Replace any that are bad. Grease the speedo gear inside the cluster. And uh, make sure that all works. And then put the dash back in and be done with it. I cannot explain to you how much I really just... I really do not like doing this anymore. <laughs> Any dash stuff. So, all right. Um, I'll work on getting this out, take it to the bench, make myself some room, and keep on it. God, there's so much room. So, we're going to disconnect our little plunger for our master cylinder. And then it looks like. There's a uh, keeper here. Take that off, slide that out. <sighs> Push out, pushing, pull pedal out, put new pedal in, reinstall. And it looks like there's uh, two like plastic washers on each side of this. So. All right, don't forget to put those back in. And then we'll uh, grease it up too on the inside on this new one for our new old one. And slam her back together. So you're gonna need your three quarter inch wrench, your five eighths and your seven sixteenths. See that fellas and the gals? That's what you're gonna need. Right, Jeremy? You are correct, sir. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, keep on wrenching. How lucky is it? Oh. Forget your 7 sixteenths for now. Oh, knuckle. Foster. <laughs> We got her. The knuckle and I loosened it. <laughs> well, come on. Oh. If you don't hurt yourself while working on cars, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you don't hurt yourself while working on cars. You're obviously painting something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Obvious is obvious, Jeremy. What's that? Obvious is obvious. Yeah. You know, most people wouldn't want to waste their time with some wrenches. I find the satisfaction of after I bust my knuckle to sit here and use open end wrenches and reflect on the pain that I have received. Don't you? Yeah. No blood though, so no foul. And the best part about that is, is when you do bust your knuckles, it leads to rapid 
vocabulary expansion. <laughs> Mother, like in a hurry. Yeah. Where are the shop dogs at? Inside doing yoga with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Whoa! Hold on, gang. This light, I'm using a tripod with the with the ring light, so you can see a little bit better. But yeah. So here, let me. Hold it so you can actually see the difference. Yep, oh, cool. Got a little on oh, on pond further. Inceptions. There is a foul on the play. I thought I felt a little bit of a sting, but it's fine. Throw a piece of tape on it a little bit. Thin, yo. All right, that's done. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a break. Go get a snack. Welcome to the wild, wild world of wiring. <laughs> <laughs> so, sit rep. Uh, where was I at? Okay, let's let's go deep Start within over. the ball. What? Start over. No. Okay. We're going. We're going deep within the inner workings. Oh, I'll just fall right in here. Oh. All right. So, one thing I want to get out of the way. Here's the radio. There's a screw hole right there. I'm gonna get a bolt or a yeah, fastener with a big washer and come through the back of this dash and screw hole it. These wires are gonna go right here and my antenna is gonna come through the old uh, tuner knob. <clears throat> and this is gonna basically be flush up against the dash. No holes cut, preserving the old dash. And that screw through the hole will suck this up tight. And then there's nothing really on the other side, but probably run a zip strap around the uh, antenna wire to something back in there. But I think I can get it tight enough because this thing only weighs like as much as a feather. I think the wiring on it weighs more than this so that's that no holes cut not gonna butcher the dash it ain't gonna look pretty but does does the car look pretty no so then i got water temp oil pressure air fuel ratio 
And I'm just down here, I'm gonna run off the old, <coughs> the old AM radio power. So when you hit the key, it turns on, when you hit the key, it's off. I was gonna use cigarette lighter, but that's constant power. This is cigarette lighter wire here. Found it. Going to pop that out. And I'm going to put Jay's USB butt plug in here. So you'll have two USBs here. Oh, Jesus. You'll have a USB on this bad boy. And then we got another one. And I was thinking about maybe punching a hole in the battery box and having USB in the back. That way, if we want to charge our GoPro, GoPro batteries and... Uh, Hook it to constant battery? Yeah, and drone batteries and stuff so we can throw it in the trunk and as we're cruising 45 miles an hour down the highway... Wee! That's not a bad idea. We can charge... Have a shit. hot shot right in the trunk. Yeah, or we can run air compressor off of it or... There you go. All that kind of jazz. It'll be like a modern day car with uh, power in the back. Power in the trunk for all your trunk powering needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that dome light working. Oh, man. Isn't that just cool? So, oh, okay. So, <laughs> this is our air fuel AEM to our header collector and there's a freaking pile of it so i'm gonna find a nice neat spot to zip tie it up uh there's our water temp lying there i'm running everything through the old clutch pedal push rod from the the rod that goes from the pedal to the z bar so all the new stuff i'm running through that and then we'll put a grommet on it <clears throat> And then uh, I think I want to have this, I, this gauge is going to be not center of the dash and I kind of want it at an angle like that so the driver can read it a little easier. So it'll be kind of like right there. And then I won't be looking through the shifter handle at it either. So you can see it's it's not center of the ashtray it's kind of towards the driver a little bit more and i just want to have a little bit of angle on it then we'll have our dumbass radio up there and then we got our dumbass speakers up in there somewhere and our dumbass cheap speakers back there and i'm going to run some cheap ass speaker cable that's for like house speakers from the 80s i don't know it was free this thing is not going to get a system in it. It's just going to be enough to listen to some tunes or while you're at the track, you can turn your radio on and their speaker system at Tri-State Raceway. You can't ever hear when your class is being announced because there's everybody's running open headers. You can't hear a damn thing. So usually you got your windows rolled down and they have their own radio station there at Tri-State. So you crank your radio up, windows down. All right, pro class stage lane one and two, sportsman three and four. So we'll be able to utilize it for that. And, <sighs> and what? And, and when they call Blake Bokey up to the winner's circle. Right. I haven't been there in a while, though. You on the radio. You were there the other year. Yeah. Yep. I'm the wheel man, oh. I guess. So, I want to race at more tracks this year. Like yeah. like Cedar Falls, I want to do that Mopar Max event. Tri-State, they got a couple uh, Wally events. Cordova. I do want to run Cordova again, just for old time's sake. But not during like a NHRA, NHRA event. Because you'll like what you get one test and tune. Yeah, that's it's, it. it's it's crazy crowded. And then there's some tracks in Wisconsin to be mm. neat to check out. Yeah, the World Series that's towards the end of August. Yeah, 
it is well it's an all week it's a huge event Dr- drag week one day that or power tour keep subscribing so we can go on these things yes. and race all over the country it's up to you guys if you want to see yeah. it yeah tell your friends tell your grandma to subscribe we need likes subscribes thumbs up so we can just drive around the country at 45 miles an hour we're getting a dolly we're towing this with the dart <laughs> <laughs> so we can go 55 <laughs> right <laughs> so yeah Jeremy will run sportsman class as the tow vehicle, and then I'll run pro in this. Agreed. Okay, we'll never have to race each other. That's better, yeah. Yeah, until we get them. Yeah, that's for a later date. All right, I'm going to keep playing Operation down here. A couple hours. What'd you do? I laid down in the car for about, <laughs> what time is it? For about uh, five hours. 6.30 now. Well, no, because it was 6.30 now. It was quarter to five when you're like, I want the stereo working before I leave. Yeah. So you did good, buddy. You did really good. So, oh, I got air fuel yeah. wired. Mm-hmm. Like, I know we're, this is all just loose right now. I'm going to shorten it all up and it's going to find its home. I got J Bo's USB charger there. That works. I have it disconnected now. All the gauge lights work. Uh, air fuel does its doobly bop let's see if i can get it to doobly bop quick come on come down here do it wait do i not have it here jay oh son of a i'm just touching stuff man Careful, that dash is going to fall on your head right now. Mm. I got it. All right. See the... Did you see that? No, I didn't. There we go. Yep, now I do. That's all hooked up. I saw it, but... Mm. I caught the dash. Yeah, careful. Oh. Headlights are on. Grab this. Turn them off. There you go. Grab that piece of cable thing there. There. Yeah. All right. Ignition off. There you go. Light off. Phone. Where? Phone here. Mm. Phone from Mopars and Guitars. Mm -hmm. Had to test that first listen to some good music to make sure the speakers work which they do two four inch speakers on the dash and two six by nines in the back super cheap super 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 cheap yeah we're going to shut cheap. down the mo power no i got a sticker coming for that my on off you see what i put here you can mm-hmm. see that <sighs> and uh Jeremy did a lot of cleaning around the shop and neatening things up. Oh, really? Okay. So that's good. As you notice, there's not a bunch of seats and stuff over here. So right. he was pack mule and stuff into the extra bedroom, mm-hmm. out into the shed, stuff that we can sell that were parts off of this that we're not going to use. Right. I found grounds and power, got stuff working in the car. Mm-hmm. Then I started working on gauges and radio and brake pedal 
Oh. Got, the, got the brake pedal. The right one. The right one yeah. in there. Leaps and bounds. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Leaps and bounds. It's two foot closer to where it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. I wonder so what the deal was. Nice. Uh, you got the brake pedal switch adjusted too. Yep. Adjusted so when the master that. cylinder goes back yeah. in, that's. I know we got some wiring issues with this, right? Next yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah, we haven't put a bulb in yet just to see, but yeah, well, I want to solder that stuff up or whatever. Yeah, we're gonna so. fix the brake lights next. Um, tomorrow, I suppose, continue on wiring. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'd call it a damn win for today. Big capital W. Right. And we found a way to mount the radio in the dash where the old radio was at without butchering it. Right, right. It's just gonna kind of be. And it's removable in lieu of maybe a modern two knob going behind the dash. Yeah. One day. Sure, One sure. day when you got like three hundred dollars for that. Right. 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 Bucks. Yeah. yeah. They're not cheap. But for right now, the fifteen dollar dual Walmart radio is gonna duel the trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Get the pun counter oh, out. Oh God! <laughs> so. As you can see, Jeremy cleaned up over here so you can see some of our merch on the no. We got the new j shirt out. I'm sure a lot of you guys seen that. I don't have it on, That's but it's, it's gorgeous. Are you sure it's not under that one? Okay. That's mm -hmm. BTP acid trip right there. Yeah. I do have a funny shirt on here, but it has nothing but to pertain to us. The light that I got for that to sit on the tripod so you can kind of see things better. Yeah. Fell over and the USB plug got yanked apart. So that's history or that's what? in need of surgery and soldering. I think it's a Tyler project. Yeah. Oh, okay, well. Super tie. You know, over here one of these days, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, what else did we do? I basically just laid down like you, but inside the car. Okay, I don't know what that means, every but. Once in a while. I checked on him occasionally. I hand, I hand him a pop. Yeah. Gave him a screwdriver. Okay, well. Like a Phillips, not black mm. and orange juice. Your oh. cigarette lighter housing in there was only held with one screw mm. out of four. Oh. So you'll be pleased to know that it's being held in with three screws now. Oh, that's a lot better, right? Out of four. Mm hmm. Cigarette lighter? What do you mean the USB thing now? Well,. Yeah, the, the, little, the housing. The yeah. housing that bolts to the dash that the ashtray clips into. Oh, okay. That right. USB twin plug there. Yeah. I'm gonna take a Dremel and just do a little zip, zip, yeah. zip tickle on the bottom of it. So then it'll shut all the way. Okay, It just Good. needs a little bit of modification underneath of it. All right. <laughs> all right. So... <gasps> That'll be tomorrow. Yeah. And a fun fact for anybody that's piloting BTC, Battery Cuda. Oh, jeez. We'll know if any fuckery is a mist. When the, the LED light is not on, somebody turned the power off on the bumper on your, on you. So okay. you won't go. You check all oh, that mother. Mm, okay. you get out. Put it smiley face. Boom. We kind of like to have that hooked to, in the run position. Instead of the always on position. It's not finalized right now, Jay. All right. It, like I said, everything's loose and long. We'll get we'll get her shortened right. up a little bit. Anyway. <laughs> that's I think gonna do it for tonight. Thank you to all of our new subscribers that have joined the BTP team. We appreciate you. Thank you all. The old ones. <coughs> Twice as many thanks to the old ones. Yes. All right, so, Jay, just settle down. Be a cameraman for once, Jesus. Anyway, all right. There so, you go, that's our cue. Yep, yeah, we're done for the night. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Whoa, wait, we're not done yet. We forgot something. Come here, check this out. Get over there, Jay-Bo. In all of its glory,
from Ed. Down in Kansas. Which means oh. Blake has to get that 383 Fury now. I think you're right, Jeremy. I think you might be right. That 68 383 Fury two door. Yep. Mm hmm. With the Super Command. Oh, uh, is it speaking to you? Oh, thermal quad. Mm, thermo yeah. nuclear oh. quad. <laughs> <laughs> what All right. Hell? We didn't want to forget you, Ed. Thanks, brother. All right. Take it easy. See you later. Ciao.